This is Cell 212 here in Lynn, Massachusetts, and what we do here primarily is test our components for sand separation efficiency. And what that means is there's nasty environments that our products work in around the world, and our primary goal is to de design systems for the inlets of those engines to protect the core turbo machinery from harmful components. And sand is one of those components. It does um, a lot of damage to our turbo machinery out in the field. We end up seeing sand getting into all of our engines, whether it's large commercial turbo fans. The damage that can happen there is predominantly in the hot section, where in rotorcraft we see damage both in the coal section as well as the hot section. The Army has asked us to do some specific things like run engine tests with sand going into them. We're able to use this hopper system to deliver the sand to the engine in a very specified quantity and amount. So we know exactly how much sand is going into the engine, and then we know the exact composition of that sand. What we do is we take that extra step of trying to model what's going on in the engine and understanding the basic physics rather than just being able to run a test and prove that we can survive the test, but understanding the basic physics and having analytic tools to predict how to deal with that sand is what allows us to design for that in the future. It's part of making sure that we are delivering the best value engine to the customer to make sure that it will survive in a sandy environment. And whether we're coming up with ways to maintain those engines in the field or we're coming up with ways to prevent any damage from occurring in the engine, we have to make sure that we've got a robust design that will allow us to continue to operate in that environment with very low life cycle costs. Whatever we can do to improve that efficiency in the field is going to help our customers long term to keep their engines flying longer and to keep them flying more powerfully in the field.